Hello everybody, my name is Retrolyzer and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box where we're going to be moving swiftly onwards to say hello to a particular dog with a bone roast. Oh hello there Parcel. Your friendly neighbourhood postman Parcel. Hmm. Believe me kid, I'd love to tell you but that's a secret between the folks of False Sense and Dropstone. It's not really my place to gossip about their affairs. Fair point. Let's move onwards, since it seems that I've taken the wrong route. Hmm. Is this it? I do believe it is. Take the roast to the little dog called Precious. Oh, hello there, good sir. You're going to wear your souls out if you keep running around like that, fellows. Rest your feet for a minute while you solve this puzzle of mine. I'd rather you didn't and just left me alone. You've stacked three dice in a column at the points where two... Right, okay. At the points where two dice touch, the faces that are touching add up to five. Hmm. I see. Uh, oh dear. <coughs> hmm. Well, let's see. I'm not entirely sure about this. I mean, it would be better if I had myself um, a set of dice. But, sadly, I don't possess any. Oh dear. You've stacked three dice in a column at the points where two dice touch. The faces that are touching add up to five. Okay. If one visible face of the bottom die is showing a one, what number must be on the top face of the top? In case you were wondering, each die is identical, and all sets of opposing faces on each die add up to seven. Which would suggest, therefore, that um, the opposing side of one equals six. Which I think is actually the case. Um, beep, 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 beep. Uh, uh, puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles, small amount of peas. Um, hmm. Steak, lamb steak, lamb shank, falls off the bone. Uh, ba 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 ba. Um, uh, it's really hard to figure out this. Um. Hmm. Well, to be fair, the only thing that I know is that um, it's 1 to 6, so I might as well just start from um, a random end. So let's start with just 6 and um, batter our way through through boot force. And to test my theory. And there we go. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Cool story. No, I did not know the sum of each set. I honestly did not care. I was going to go through each one, one at a time. Start from six, go down to f one. What do you think you're going to find here? Well, um... Oh dear. You get a new hamster toy! Oh, well, that's just grand, I guess. And what prey... Hello there, youngie. Little doggy doggy. Toss him that beef shank. Oh, you've, uh... You've smelled it? That's right! Holy shit! You fucking serious? Woof woof. Really? Huh. You will forgive me if um, I'm just a little bit annoyed at how much of the fucking uh, roast shank you just gave him. Oh look! There's one scrap. Could that be? Well, of course it is. It's a piece of the photograph. Alright, only 14 left. Let's go and have a quick chat to this young lady. You make the best pancakes you've ever tasted. Hmm. I see. Oh, no. Pancake stacks, too. Oh, dear. Now, here's a tasty puzzle for ye. 
Your task is to take that big stack of pancakes on the left plate and move them over to the plate on the far right. Ah yes, welcome to... Uh, Nim. I think it's Nim. No, Hanoi. The Towers of Hanoi. Now. Oh dear. There we go. I just need to... Uh, sort this out. Wait, there we go. Secret of Nim. There we go. This is the um, this is the classic Towers of Hanoi um, puzzle, and where basically you have yourself um, huge discs in um, descending order stacked on top of each other, and it's essentially just swapping them over. Did you know that you can solve this puzzle in as few as fifteen moves? Well, I probably got about seventeen. So yeah. <laughs> Your hands move so fast there, it looked like you were juggling those flapjacks. Next time I throw pancakes on the griddle, you're welcome to a heaping help of them. Oh, well then. Meanwhile, I've just got myself two new little things to use for my hamster. Nibbles. Now, we still have much to look forward to. Yes? Hmm. Don't worry, Luke. It looks more or less intact. Well, that's just grand, I guess. Now let's keep looking through the, um... Oh, hello there, Katya! Yes, you are Mr. Anderson's daughter. Hello. And what, prey brings you to mi full sense? Oh, fair enough. Hmm. She most certainly does. Oh. Okay. So there we go. Three people are now looking for the Elysian box. Us. The good Inspector Chelmy, and of course, Katya, for reasons that we don't fully understand. Now, we've not um, got all the scraps yet, but we're working on it. Oh dear, I don't see any scraps here. Full sense, the Gilded Town. Yeah, that's what they used to call this place way back then. I used to work down in the mines that gave the town its nickname. Well, I did till they closed them a few years ago. Even now, sometimes I catch punks sneaking down into the mine to see if there's anything down there. They always come back empty-handed, though. You can bet your hat on that. Hmm. I've never heard of Duke Herzen, though. The real money's not in that mine, it's in the Duke's castle. Of course, he may have trouble getting in, considering there's a vampire living there. Oh? It's a scrap of a photo. Yes, I'm afraid it is. Thank you. Right, moving onwards. <coughs> ah. Another piece of the photograph. I'm more concerned about why it's inside this building. Oh, well, let's have a quick look around for hint coins. Hmm. There we go. Anywhere else? Or shall we head outside? Head outside. We've still got ten scraps left. So we're not out of the woods. Hmm. Let's head up the um, other side of this um, particular area. Oh my! There's another shred of the photograph sitting in that pile of rubbish. Watch your footing. It looks quite precarious. Hmm. No, I think he could be just pouring through it for clues, as um, the good professor states. However, we've only got nine scraps of the photograph. That does not, um, bode well for us. If we only have that many scraps, where are we supposed to find the rest of them? Hmm. I wonder where, pray, we should look. Here we go. Uh, camera. Oh, yes. Let's see. I wonder. I have no idea where this part goes, but... Ah, there we go. Hmm. Well... That looks um, to be in working order, sort of. Just needs the last part. Oh, well, there's not much that can be done now except continue searching. I mean, we've found as... Oh, you okay there, miss? Oh, now this is discouraging. What's, pr what's the problem? Oh, dear. 
You look lovely. Well, if it's troubling, troubling you, may I suggest a radiance-boosting cup of tea? Oh, dear. I'd like... I need vitamins to brighten up my skin. Make me soothing tea with lots of vitamins. Well, let's see what we've got. Refreshing and purifying. Revitalizing and restoring. Relaxing. Mood lifting. Let's see if these three will um, result in something good. Nope, your tea is no good. Oh, this won't do at all. Oh, dear. Okay. Well... Let's see. Let's try this um, Joy Root Clover. Hopefully that will um, result in something. Nope. It's awful, and we should feel bad. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. And of course... Oh! Now this smells nice. Indeed, there's something about this aroma that's quite... Hmm. I see, so I've just made, um... Oh. I see. Well, let's go and serve her this Radiance Blend, then. We don't really have um, a choice. She seems restored and cheerful. Oh, now that was just wonderful. Does my skin look better? How many times better? Two times? Five? Hmm. Oh, I see your point, Gertie. Well, don't worry. Sadly, that was a complete waste of my time. After all, I've not been able to... I've still got, you know... Much to look for. Oh, hello. Hmm. Uh... Great, now we've got to go and search through the entirety of this godforsaken dump. Oh well, let's do that. I don't really have a choice, do I? Let's have a look inside here. Ooh. Tell me, have you ever worked up the nerve to wander out past the edge of town? The tales I've heard about what people see out there would make your blood run cold. Oh, I see. And let's have a look at what you've got. A ghostly puzzle. Yikes, there's a ghost in the forest, or so you thought, until you realised that the spectre hovering in front of you was just a figure cut out of wood hanging from a branch. Looking around the area, you notice four pieces of wood scattered in the grass. Which one of these wooden slabs was the ghost cut out from? You have four choices. I see. A through D. Beware, the correct board may have flipped over while lying in the grass. Well, first things first, let's have a go and let's have a look at um, the uh, actual features. Five fingertips. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it would be B. And now to test my thing. There you go. Check out the fingertips. Huh, wonderful. Indeed. Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure what differences there were. The only one that I could think of was that um, the fingertips were of a different number. <coughs> hmm. Oh, well. Ah, a new hamster toy. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Sadly, this has not been uh, most fruitful. Let's head towards the town square. Maybe we can perhaps find some more scraps kicking around. Okay, well most certainly not from that guy. Hey guys, what you doing there? Hello little boy. Yeah, the wind blew this thing by me. Is this what you're looking for? Oh. Fucking puzzles just because um, you can't be bothered to do the right thing. Here's a classic puzzle. The rules are simple. You can move any ball on the board below as long as it satisfies the current conditions. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is basically like um, the game of Othello. Let's see. 
Right, to move, jump your ball, your selected ball, over an adjacent space occupied by another. You can't jump diagonally. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's a bit of an issue, you know. Okay. Well, the first issue is to actually um, be able to bloody start. I think I might have um, fucked up. Huh. Disappearing Act 2. Right. Well, no, was this Disappearing Act 1? Well, whatever it is. It's certainly proving um, tricky. Oh dear. Okay, so... There must be something here. Hmm... No, that can't be it. This is most, um, difficult. I must... Surely I must get rid of one of the sides or something, somehow. Hmm. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's only, um, two possible starting points, and that's the ones in the middle. But it, it's it, it's impossible. Hmm. Uh, it can't be to move, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another into an empty space on the other side. You can't jump diagonally. Right. Well, that's the thing. Uh, there's so much room on the board and yet none of it I can um, actually use for my own purposes. I mean, see? Hmm. I have no idea, honestly. <sighs> I mean, I can get rid of two, but I can't get rid of the others. That's the problem, and I'm struggling really, di really much at this moment. And I must get this, um, this thing. That bloody fragment. Why must they be so cruel to me? Let me see. Um, what about a hint? <coughs> Make the first of the balls disappear by jumping the ball in the center. Wait. Oh. Ah. Okay, fair enough. And then... So... Jump. Then... Oh dear. I have um, a bit of an issue now. And then, of course... Ah! No! I've got it! I've got it! Um... Do this. Then this. Then this. Then this. Voila! Finally! That took me long enough. To test my theory. Huh. Wonderful. No, not really. That was fucking awful. <sighs> oh, I get it now. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Well. With that, I'm afraid it is time to go and end it there, ladies and gentlemen, for I have run out of time. But don't worry, I'll be back soon enough. But if you can't wait until then, do please check out the selection boxes on my left, or go to the channel itself. There is plenty more to be seen. Thank you very much once more for watching, and of course, from me, ta-ta.